<clears throat> Hello everyone, this is Joey from Second Chance Music and More, and today we're going to do something a little different. In most videos you see me doing the whole hand thing I always do, and then I talk about the new guitar, or new video game, or drum set, or something we have here in the shop. Well today, I'm going to not only show you a new product that we got in, but I'm going to test it and show you how to use it, because uh, as a drummer, you get asked a lot of questions, like for example, how does Moon Gel work and is it work fine? We're going to do a video later talking about all about it and how to use it and cheap alternatives to it and some myths and stuff. Should be a neat episode. So watch out for that one. But today we're going to talk about pearl muffle heads, which is this black head here and this black head here and everything. I took the Remo head off my snare. The Evans head off the high tom. Now the questions always get asked about these sort of things are, you know, what's it do? Is it worth buying? They're pretty expensive. You know, uh, I play drums in an apartment. Would that be good for that? Or should I just get some real heavy duty, you know, muffle heads to lay on my drums? You know, I'm using a digital trigger system on my kit for recording. Would these be cool for that? I've seen some videos about it. You know, general questions, you know, uh, I'm microphone, mine are mic'd up and microphones like mine is. And people ask if they do that, can they use these kind of heads? It won't be so noisy in a small studio, but still get a good sound. So we got lucky enough to get it set in. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to try them and see what they do. So let's begin. This should be interesting. May help if I actually turn the chain on, huh? Let's make it fair, right? But on an unrelated note, if you wanted to make it really quiet, and you know, the easy way to do it, just turn the chain off. has a nice bounce, has a lot of the bite took out of it, because I mean we all know how a snare drum has a usual very loud, aggressive kind of bite to it. Doesn't really seem to have it. I mean that'd be great for if you were like a marching band student and you're just dealing with just a snare, I mean, or practicing a lot in your bedroom or an apartment or anything like that. And you want to have the snare sound but on a lesser volume. I mean, I think so far this would be great for that. I mean, watch. That'd be great for doing stuff like that. But let's see how you incorporate any kind of feel into it. As you can tell, I have one high tom with one with it on, and we can do a quick comparison between a one with it and one without it. The 10 does not have it has a normal Evans G1 head on it. The 12 has a pearl muffle head on it. Let's see the comparison to those. Very nice, they go pretty good together. Actually a full set with these would probably be pretty good, especially for like a practicing set. You know, something that you know how it should sound, it sounds pretty similar, but it's not as dead sounding to having the mat cover over it. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I mean I use those all the time. But I mean they're pretty dead sounding compared to this. I mean, when you use the mat, here let me show you. Oh, excuse me. If you use one of these, which these are pretty worn out, it usually just kind of deadens the sound. These, they're not so much deaden, it's just like, you know, you turn the volume down. So, we're getting ready to compare the 10-inch Tom with the G1 regular Evans head on it to this 12-inch Tom with the Pearl muffle head on it. Let's see what it does. Big 
big difference. I mean, just listen to the two toms by themselves. See how much louder the 10 rings out compared to the 12? I mean, you can't even hear it with the snare doing the fill. Watch. Completely drowns them out, which I've noticed it does that with the cymbals too. If it was me, I still would highly recommend these for a practicing snare drummer or a drummer with a small drum set that just wants a practice set. I would highly recommend these. Even fill your whole kit with them probably be, wouldn't be bad. The only issue would be your cymbals because see, watch what happens with the cymbals. Completely, completely drowned out. What I would recommend on that is actually take the sound off. These are Evans. Other brands make them, but I'm kind of an Evans guy, so I have a lot of Evans products. Sit them on the cymbal and then practice like this. Wouldn't be bad, you know, you totally get away with doing that. Now, uh, Sabian and Zildjian do make a sound reduction symbol. So if I was going to invest in these muffle heads, I would invest in those kind of symbols. And then it'd make a good set for that. Now, I can't tell how well these microphones are working on this set until I hear the video. So let me know in the comments if they sound pretty good. And it's like I said, just sounds like the volume has been decreased. Or if they sound totally different. And let me know if this would be something that you would put on your kid or if you would just practice with muffle heads or say the heck with it and play normal and if the neighbors don't like it, psh, the neighbors don't like it. Alright, this has been Joey from Second Chance Music and More, located in Winsburg, Kentucky, 506 Main Street. If you ever have any questions about used gear, a particular gear you want, or if you have a guitar or a drum set or something that needs work, let us know. We'd be more than happy to help. Again, we're located on Main Street in Winsburg, Kentucky, 506. Hope to see you there. Good night. Goodbye.